Well, how do there, charms to Zai, Captain of the Steves. And as you can see, I'm inside of my light nose. Sky save as my little Viking chum, sitting by my lovely teleporter inside of the Brew Crew 07 headquarters. Yes, heck yes. Now, I do need to get myself the Atlas Pass Level 1 so I can make use of all of these canisters inside of here to get navigational datas. But today's episode is a warm-up quest. So I'm just going to be heading out. Now, the objective of the warm-up quest is inside of our actual logs. So if we go to log, you've got this exploration guide. And inside of here, it tells you how many things you've managed to catalogue. Now, anything that you do discover, try to upload them with the name of whatever you like. Try to make it as humorous as possible. But in there also include like your, your faction sort of abbreviation. So for my case, it's 07. And for, say, Rice's, it's going to be EMP. For um, Professor Cynical's Creative Kingdom, it's CK. Right, so let's head on out and let's see if we can start scanning a few things. Now, there's already a few people here. Now, if you are going out on a quest, remember to go into your older network settings. Make sure your PvP is on to anyone. And, uh, yeah, you put your difficulty. Get this into survival mode. Now, there are Sentinels on this planet. And Sentinels, if they spot you, they are going to try and attack you. Oh, okay, we've got another player right here. Look, there we go. Who's this guy? Oh, he's another Viking. That's that's lucky. Hello there, Stormageddon. Welcome, chum. Heck yes. Hello there, matey. Cool, yeah. So there we go. We've got, we've got Stormageddon in the house right now. Anyway, I'm going to scan this rock. Let's see if anybody else has already scanned it. I'm going to the old discoveries. Can I? Oh, somebody's already uploaded that one. Rarer site, they've called it. <laughs> but they didn't put in their faction name, so it doesn't look like it's overly claimed. Right, OK. Uh, I'm going to scan this rock. Come on, I've got to be able to upload something. Uh, OK. It looks like that one's already been uploaded by Bupki. OK. All right, well, I think that's the Empire that's got that one. OK. Um, right. Well, we might not have much luck in naming anything and getting it uploaded. Let's have a look. See, see I've named this one Majestic Craig, but I didn't put 07 in front of it. I accidentally... Oh, hold on. We've got one. We've got one. Here we go. I'm going to call this one... I'm going to put 07 in first. 07. And I'm going to call it... Hamster... Of the sky. And there we go. We've got one. Heck yes. Oh, seven hamster of the sky. Brilliant, eh? I wasn't expecting that. I was kind of thinking that the animals would have all been scanned ages ago. Can I upload that one as well? No. No, I can't. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no. Darn it. Ribsforp found that one. Okay, let's carry on then. What about a tree? Let's try scanning the trees. Chikapow! Can I upload you? Yes, I can! Heck yes! So I'm going to go 07. Mr. Tree! Ha ha! Done! Okay. Now, I've, I've named quite a fair few things. You like my turtley base? It's lovely, isn't it? Where's my turtley base? It looks quite majestically cool. At least I think it does, anyway. There might be some water fauna, is what I'm thinking, people, that people might not have named yet. So let's dive in. Let's have a little gander around here. Let's try scanning this. Oh, okay. That's already scanned, is it? There's nothing to scan in here. Ha ha ha! We've got creatures on the horizon! It's a water cow. Have we got that one? Hamster of the sky. Aha! Ha ha ha! Okay, cool, yeah. I'm going to put 07. I'm going to call it sea cow. What was that sound? Have I just run out of oxygen? Have I just died? I better not have. Whoa! Jesus Christ, I'm drowning! Holy mackerel! I'll we'll scan that. 
and we'll scan them. And then we get the heck out of the water because we drown super quick. I forgot we're in survival mode. And I'm going to scan this hazardous flora as well. Right. Let's see how we're getting on. Let's see if we can upload those at least, shall we, people? Let's head back into my base. Now, I'm not going to be online for too long. There we go. Let's, let's go into here then. Let's go into the flora. Uh, not now. Oh, actually, yes, we can do this one. Rename. Heck yes. Okay, brilliant. I'm, I'm getting quite good at this, aren't I? Oh, seven. Um, Mr. Bitey. Uh, there we go. Wow. What else can I have? I've, I think I've done all these, haven't I? Yeah, report. Rename and upload. I've done that one, Mr. Bitey. Okay, right. So we've got the flora. Ha ha! I'm going to call this one something really random. 07. We just call him Graham. <laughs> there you go. Weird little plant called Graham. Oh yeah, what well, we got this this guy here. Oh, I can't upload him. Somebody's already got him. Our ribs Forp has got quite a lot. I don't know what sort of team they're on. I don't know whether they're 07 or what. Okay, well we only put this sort of like relaxed mission out there. I think it was a couple of hours ago. So, yeah. Uh, you know what? I might not rename anything else. I think I've done enough for the old uh, brew crew. I'd let other people get some discoveries in. But something I haven't got in here right now is a portable beacon. I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to turn it red, I think. I'm going to try and get it into that post as much as I can. There we are. So, like that. And let's uh, make it red. Chikapow. There you go. It's kind of built into that post. That'd do. It's kind of disguised. Kind of isn't. That kind of work. Okay, cool, yeah. Well, there you are. Save that. Nice. So that's kind of like mission one. Also part of mission one, I do kind of want to get myself an Atlas Past level one. Now, you can't just craft it off the bat. So you have to find yourself a, um, ooh, a manufacturing facility, I believe. I don't think I've got any navigational data at all. Now, there are ways and means of getting navigational data fairly easily. So to get navigational data, you just got to find a waypoint. So if I call in my um, flying creature, we'll go with the beetle, I think. Gently pat, give him a treat, and ride. Let's fly, my pretty. So I'm in survival mode. If I just keep scanning like this, it should hopefully pick up a building. Oh, there was a building over here. Look at that. There's a giant colossal archive right there. It looks like someone's built a base on it. Well done, whoever claimed that. It's freaking awesome. Lovely jubbly. 07 Brew Crew. Quick yes! Lutamondo chum. There's, a, there's a somebody down there. We'll just carry on flying anyway. Lovely. And uh, we'll, we'll have a quick look around, shall we, people? Uh, I'm going to try and find another building. And hopefully we will get navigational data, which I can exchange for maps. I need a couple of maps, to be fair. I mean, I could fly over to the Coriolis Kingdom or something, couldn't I? But you see, my energy is going extremely fast in the bottom right, uh, bottom left corner there. You can see it's got a double chevron on it. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Now, something I could be doing is landing by damaged machinery or looking for oxygen as I fly. So right now it's night time. It's nice and easy to spot oxygen at night time. Also, hazardous flora gives you oxygen. But look, there's two oxygen plants there. Let's go grab those. So this is kind of the fuel that you need as you're going along at the moment, which is oxygen. Definitely need oxygen. Boom. There we go. We've got a little bit more oxygen in there. Now, there are plants that you can pick up on the planet, like these ones over here. I think these are pulpy roots. Yeah, they're pulpy roots. When you eat pulpy roots, I think they give you something back every now and again. Where's my, there's my pulpy roots? Consume, consume, consume. I'm not too sure what that just gave me. 
because it's it's giving me other readouts at the moment. I think that just topped up my health, actually. And oh, look, there's a load of oxygen over there. I'm going to head and grab that oxygen. Hello, buddy. Oh, I could have got back on him, actually. But look, there's, there's three more oxygen plants just there. So we're going to go grab those. And we're going to keep looking for buildings. So hopefully I'll see you when I get to my first waypoint. OK, well, I'm not at my first waypoint. But what I have found, one I can... Oh, I used the wrong freaking laser on that one, didn't I? Right, well, I can interact with damaged machinery. Now, damaged machinery can sometimes give me tech. I'm hoping it gives me tech. Oh, it's giving me nanites. All right, well, I think nanites, you can buy random charts at the station. So I could just buy a load of random charts and, charts and hope I get randomly lucky and end up with a manufacturing facility amongst those. So we could do that. So let's just carry on. We get There's another damaged machinery here. So I'm going to fly around until I find myself a uh, waypoint, like a building, so I can hatch, actually get some navigational data. Or I might be lucky and even find navigational data out in the wild. It does happen from time to time. There we go. We'll grab that. We'll get that. Lovely jobs. And that's why I need an Atlas past level one. Look, we need to get that. It might be nice to be able to get a few extra things while we're out in the wild. At the moment, my uh, life support is going down uh, rather quickly. Now, I have managed to craft a fair few of these. I spent a little bit of time gathering loads of dehydrogen and stuff, but I don't really overly want to use them. I really, what I need to do is I need to craft this. But of course, you need a quantum computer to do that and crystal sulfide and chromatic metal but i need to get that in maybe i'll do an episode where we try to get all the pieces that we need to make that i mean to make let me just have a look can i actually one second so i need the quantum computer let's just see what's involved in making a quantum computer need antimatter that's fairly easy it's just the chromatic metal we need to go to town and make a shed load of chromatic metal people that's what we really need Okay, all right, fine. It's not impossible. You know, I could do that. And then hopefully my life support isn't going to go down as much or as quickly. The Sentinels get very upset when you zap things on this planet. Do not zap another thing while they're watching or else they will get quite angry. Okay, right. Yeah, they can be quite aggressive. Shall we... Let's go get a load of chromatic metal. Uh, let's have a look, see if there's any chromatic metal. I'm heading north at the moment. There's a paraffin deposit there. Is there a copper deposit? Somewhere in my line of sight. Paraffin. I'm going back on myself if I go this way. There's a copper deposit. It's only 700 used that way. And there, oh, there's two that way. That's the way I just came, but okay, all right, fine. We're going to get a load of chromatic metal anyway, people. So things have changed. I mean, I would like to get navigational data, but, you know, whatever. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Now, I tend to summon the creature the opposite way that I want to go. Now, when you ride, you're actually facing the way you want to go. And that way you don't go and waste a load of... Um, well, health basically that's the fuel at the moment is i need loads of oxygen you can see though how quickly we can cover 700 u's on this beetle of mine it's the same with the actual um, butterflies if you've only got the butterflies on this planet don't worry they're equally as quick to be honest they're actually really quite good okay here we go we've got a lovely copper deposit right here people i'm going to go and dig up all that copper i'm also going to kill this hazardous plant now, you can pick the oxygen clusters from the side of it to get even more oxygen. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Now, when I'm actually going to get this out of the ground, I'm going to shrink my beam by pressing L1. And oh, there we go. Oh. Have I just triggered some strange sound? There seems to be some sound glitches on the PlayStation 5. It tends to layer different sounds. I've had to do a couple of restarts at times just because the sound gets crazy. The actual butterflies on this planet, for whatever reason, are causing me a sound glitch. Let me know in the comments if you're getting the sound glitch. And if you are, 
let me know what platform you're getting the actual sound glitch on. It's definitely a thing for me on PlayStation 5, but I don't know whether I'm alone. So even if you've got it on PlayStation 5, still let me know if you've got the same thing happening. It seems to be when I'm in my base and if those little butterflies land on my base, then it <laughs> I have to restart because it just layers the sound effects and they don't go away. It's really weird. I've never had anything like it before. Anyway, I'm going to dig this out and then I'll reconvene. Okay, just to point out, chums, there is another flying creature on this planet. It's this little guy. Oh, I just fed him, um, but then my beetle got in the way. Where'd he go? I can't see him now. Oh, there he is. And you can actually fl you can actually ride these as well. There you go. Just just got him. Let's give him a ride. Let's see how quick he is. Meow! Look at me go. Now, it's not it's not as quick. It's not as quick as my um, beetle. Well, there we go. We've got one of these. So, yeah, lovely, isn't it? Freaking nice. There we go. Right, eh? well, um, that, that's that creature. <laughs> right. Well, I'm still looking for a building. I've got a load of um, lovely, lovely copper now. The only thing is, I want to be able to refine that copper. I didn't think they're too far ahead. I haven't actually got a... Um, portable refiner there's the portable refiner right there and again i'm going to need a quantum computer for that that's mental isn't it okay that's the mark ii though i could probably get the mark one in but look i need chromatic metal for that one as well now i have got some metal plating which i made out of ferrite dust i might be able to put down one of these yes because i've got some oxygen lovely and let's just put a fueling inside of there a bit of condensed carbon i think people Let's get all my copper and put it inside of there. The only thing is I've got to stand next to this thing and wait. The reason why I want one that's on my back is because, you know, people can come and kill me. And I don't want to be standing here for seven minutes waiting for this to go off when somebody could come and kill me. Now, normally I would wait until I'm at some sort of like waypoint, some sort of structure, some sort of safe haven before I start doing any of this refining. But if I look at network, and then if I go to view nearby player list, I can see who's online right now. Bubki is right over in uh, the Crayola Kingdom, and I don't think she's going to be interested in coming out and killing people. She's probably building her base right now. We've got Mike the Manchild, who was part of the 07 crew, and I don't know who Bad Wubby Bubby is. I don't know who they are. So I don't know whether they're on my team or somebody else's. So... But, um, yeah, you can sort of locate them if looking around on the planet. You're just looking for a player marker. And then, you, hopefully, you get to know who they are. Oh, that's my ship all the way over there. Hey, look, that's just frozen in midair. What the fudge is going on there? How bizarre is that? Anyway, I'm not seeing many other player markers at the moment. But if I could see the player markers, if you hover over them, it should give you an indication of whose crew they're part of. But, uh, hold on. There's a base over there. Spotted badger. Okay. Oh, there's a player marker. Look. Mike the Manchild. You can see it says Viking in his title. Hand of the Viking. So he's on my team. If it said something like Toil Gek, then I know that it's part of Cynicals. If it said something Entity, then I know that it's, uh, you know, part of the Empire and Rice's crew. Now, I think Professor Cynical did also ask his chaps to either use Toil Gek or Gek or use Professor. So there could be a bit of a mixture. Now, there is actually a title that says Captain. Feel free to use that if you want, but try to use one with Viking on it. Makes it a bit easier, I suppose. Anyway, we've got, we got, we got ages to go on this. I'll reconvene soon. Hey, look at this, chums. We've got a low-flying frigate just coming. Oh, that looks freaking ace, doesn't it? Look at that. It's coming across the mountains there. Holy mackerel, that's a sight to be hailed, isn't it? I love it when frigates do the low aerial flyby. Heck yeah, that's majestic. Brilliant, eh? I tell you what, when you're actually you playing a game like this, where you're traversing the planet just on mounts, you, you appreciate things a heck of a lot more. You really do. I mean, look at that. That was just so cool to see that. Anyway, how are we looking now? We're nearly there. I just took a clump out. I had to refuel it. I've got another two minutes on it. Okay, now when you're gathering resources near your base, you can actually stay in normal mode and you actually get more when you're doing your harvesting. 
sadly, I'm out and about at the moment. So I've got to use the old survival mode. Oh, look, I've just triggered a sentinel. That's made that sentinel angry. There's sentinels everywhere on this planet. There really are. Now, the reason why I'm trying to get a load of carbon is I'm thinking about trying to get myself the antimatter. And I need a load of condensed carbon. So once this is done, I can then put carbon in here and turn it into condensed carbon. Or if I am lucky, I might be able to find condensed carbon just out in the wild anyway. Look, there's, car there's condensed carbon there. You know what? I could leave this on the bake. I'm just going to put a little beacon there. I'm just going to run down. I'm going to go get that condensed carbon. And I'll go back up again in a bit. And pick up that. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Oh, I nearly broke my legs. Right, might be a moment. Oh, I might as well record it. So we go. Let's, I'm nearly there. I can't do a melee strafe jump yet. But I bet as soon as I start harvesting this, a sentinel goes freaking mental. There we go. Let's, let's grab it anyway. There we go. Now, you can punch this stuff, but um, there you go. As long as you've got your advanced mining laser installed, you can still punch it. Bit odd, but yeah, it happens. So then you, you don't go and use a load of your normal carbon to harvest your condensed carbon. There we go. We've got a load anyway. It still upsets the sentinels. I think you actually get more for your yield this way as well. There you go. So having the beacon there really does help. There you go, see the beacon up there. I head back to the beacon. Right, well, we've got our chromatic metal now. Now what I want to do is get some of that lovely normal carbon, which I've got a whole freaking stack of it here. I'll put half in for now. And we turn that into condensed carbon. That's going to take me another two minutes. I should have done all this back at base, really, shouldn't I? And if I harvest all this near my base, I could stay in normal mode, turn PvP off, because I'm in my own sort of brew crew area. And I would have been able to do this in safety. But right now, I'm not seeing many people online. So I think I'm fairly safe anyhow. Now, why I am here just standing around doing nothing, I might as well get some dehydrogen. Um, if I see a sentinel get angry, though, then, you know, I've got to stop. You've got to pick your moments quite quickly to gather stuff on this planet. You've got to be very careful of the sentinels. At some point, though, we will be fighting the sentinels to get ourselves some glass. So we can get some extra technology. But for now, I don't feel that I'm quite ready yet to be taken on Sentinels. I mean, I have got a bolt caster in here, but if I am to take on Sentinels, I want to do it at a facility. And I'm thinking if I've got to break into a manufacturing facility anyway, I might as well do the two things at once. Take out a few Sentinels, get a bit of tech and get myself the Atlas Pass level one all at the same time. So this episode, I'm going to try and get my life support system working a bit better. So when I'm flying on my you know, bird or butterfly or beetle, my health isn't going down as quickly and I don't have to nurse that oxygen refill all the freaking time. So let's see how we're getting on now. We're getting there. We've got a load more condensed carbon anyway. Have I got enough to start doing stuff? Can I make a quantum computer at the very least? Oh, no, I need to make the antimatter, don't I? OK, cool. Let's make the antimatter then. Where are you, antimatter? There we go. All it is is condensed carbon and chromatic metal. And you're going to need that if you want to make those red barrel fabricators anyway. So we go. And that and a little bit of cobalt. So just a bit of cave work in there. Okay, right. So we've got that. Let's make our quantum computer then. Boom. And how close are we to now being able to up our life support? We need the uh, crystal sulfide, which means going in the water. All right, well, if I'm flying over the, the planet and I come across crystal sulfide, I'll be sure to let you know. Still opening the old damaged machinery and just getting nanites all the time, though. I haven't come across anything interesting yet. And you can see there, my life support power is already low. Now, I could just traverse this planet on foot, but it is quite hilly. It is quite nice having the actual flying creatures to fly across the planet. Oh, there he is. Let's get on him while he's facing the way I want to fly. Ride, my pretty fly. Okay, cool. Yeah. There we are. Yeah, I'm going to have to up my life support again. Fun times. Oh, look. Loads of condensed carbon there. Condensed carbon. Can't sort of just pass that by. So it's a case of just having to, you know, grab a load as and when you see it. Pow. Pow. 
Now I was quite lucky with my um, staff. You already get a uh, advanced mining laser, so a little perk for the leaders. You've got a little bit of a head start on that one. Oh great! Left me a load of fecium. I'll have that too. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, he's facing the way I want to go, or he was for a second. I'm, I'm flying north. So we go. Now it's back to night time, so I should be able to spot oxygen a little bit quicker. I'm doing another scan to see if I can get myself a, a location. Hold on, I'm, I'm getting close to another player. Uh oh, that's Bubki, one hour away. I'm flying towards the Coriola Kingdom. I don't want to do that. Heck no. So we go this way instead. Pudgeon heck. Yeah, I don't want to get too close to Bubki. Not this early on, anyway. Boom, boom, boom. Keep flying. There's a couple of reasons why I don't want to go near to other players at the moment. One, because if I get taken out and I'm the leader, that would be a little bit embarrassing. But two, they've only just got here. There's not many players in. They're all building their bases. It wouldn't be that honourable, I don't think, to go and take somebody out while they're base building and getting used to stuff. We, we're not even put down quest one. Oh, here we go. I've come across a facility of some kind. Or oh, hopefully it's a, um, a manufacturing facility. Sadly, I don't really know the difference between buildings until I actually see them up close and personal. But you see this here. This is what I was looking for. This is a waypoint marker. Boom. Lovely. We can have these. They're free anyway. But I should get navigational data up here in, here in a second. There you go. One navigational data. I can exchange that for a map up in the station. So even if this isn't a manufacturing facility, I've still got myself one step closer to getting an, a, a chart map that is. Okay. Now some of these places have like NPCs in. And if you do a quest for them, sometimes they give you something awesome. Oh, not seeing any NPC inside this building. Ah, we might get navigational data out of this if we're lucky. We did! That's an extra navigational data. Heck yes. Let's hit this up. I haven't gone across any bodies of water at the moment, so I can't get any crystallised sulphide. Okay, it looks like we've got to solve a um, pattern here. Okay, so 23 to 45, and then 45 to 89, and the difference between 89 and blah, blah, blah. Ah, uh, it's too early in the morning for math. It's either three five three or it's three nine two. Uh, I'm gonna guess this is a fifty fifty. Okay, we we failed that one. Now I could do a reload if I really wanted to, but I'm not gonna cheat myself out of it. I failed it, so yeah, there we go. We failed it. Okay, let's head on out then. Coolio. There's a big cave complex here, so if you if you if you want to get yourself a load of cobalt. This is a good place to do it. And if you do scan stuff, you can get the secondary element as well. So in this case, it's tritium. I don't really need tritium. There you go. Might as well grab, grab a load of cobalt while I'm here. And there's also platinum amongst these. You can see I've already you know, scanned that one. Well, that was my previous cave, I'd imagine, where I got all my cobalt before. Anyway, let's, let's, let's get all this done. I'm going to get a load of cobalt. It's good for creating more of those red barrels for my base. So I grab a load while I'm here. Heck yes. You just mix it with... Uh, yeah, you mix it with a little bit of uh, or antimatter and then boom. Okay, well I just scanned a rock. It looks like a facehugger type egg, doesn't it? So I call it facehugger wannabe. And that bit of cobalt that I just scanned. There you go. Bob. Got him Bob. Sweet. Okay, so we've got a few bits for that. There's a, there's a sentinel hovering around now. So, you know, I'm not going to... Not going to mess with that, to be honest. Oh, there's some damaged machinery here as well. We're going to interact with that. And let's see if we get a bit of technology this time. I really wish Hello Games would up the amount of damaged technology that you find in these damaged machineries. Because I'm just getting loads of nanites. But, yeah. Okay. All right, fine. Anyway, I'm going to carry on going north. and Well, no, I'm not. I'm going to go in just some random direction at the moment. Because I don't want to go too close to Bubki. You know what, I could just head back to my own base now. I could just start the, the trek back and hope. Yeah, if I can find my own base on the freaking markers here. There's my ship over there. Let's go that way then. Okay, 
let's head back to base. Now, if I do come across a body of water, I will be sure to go in it and see if I can find some crystallized sulfide. If I do see any more damaged machinery, I just saw one there, but it's, it's slightly off my track. And I think I may have already hit that one up. Oh, massive patch, massive patch of oxygen. We're going to have that. I guess we are. That helped me get all the way back home. Nice. Just keep picking it up until I don't see any more red glow on the ground. It's just popped up that Bubkey has left the system. And look, you can see there, it says there, work gek. So, yeah, that's cool. She's got the right marker. Oh, oh, sorry, little guy. I think I've got everything now. Oh, no, there's still a little bit more oxygen over here. I'll grab that quickly. Lovely. One more oxygen. I got loads of oxygen there, people. I mean, take a look how much oxygen. Oh, yes. 747 oxygens. All right, where's my, where's my beastly friend? Where are you, beastly friend? There he is. Right. I guess. And we're heading back to my base. Oh, I put down a, a beacon by accident by the looks of things, people. It doesn't need to be there. Oh, no, I left it there, didn't I, from earlier? Okay, there's two damaged machineries here. Did I get those on the way here? Have I gone the exact route back that I came? Nope, nope, I haven't got these. I've got a fecium. I don't think... Fecium from damaged machinery? What the fudge? Why is someone smearing damaged machinery with turd? Oh, you dirty blighter. Right, let's head on over here and let's see if we get any better results on this one. You're probably thinking, well, why take the PCM with you if you didn't like it? You can make baked goods out of it, I know. And baked goods come in quite handy for um, getting your health back. So, Oh, there we go. We've got Starship launch fuel in that one, which means I can call my my ship to me, maybe. But Yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, gently pat this guy, keep him happy, keep him fed. Right! Hopefully... I'll be able to get eggs from this thing at some point, and then I can give the eggs out to people, can't I? Oh, I'm flying around in a freaking circle now. That's your trouble with jumping off of your, your pet. Look, now I'm going to run out of life support power. Oh, there's another damaged machinery right there. We can jump down there. Come on, I've got to get some technology this episode, people, haven't I? Or I've got to come across a body of water and at least get that crystallised sulphide, or else I've done nothing. Okay, let's grab that. Yep, 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 yep. Give me whatever's inside. Nanites? Okay. Fun times. I'm heading towards my... my um, my bed. Ah, I missed him. How far have I got to go on foot? It's 11 minutes on foot. So I have travelled quite far today, people. Ah, come here, you. Yeah, ride. I'm going to lose my health as soon as I get on this thing, just by steering it around in a circle. Oh, there's some water down here. I don't think that's deep enough to find crystallised sulphide, though. I'm going to use one of my 16. There is a nice bit of condensed carbon on that hill there. I'm thinking maybe just get back to my base for now, though. I wonder if there is crystallised sulphide in here. Let's just Let's just have a look. No, it's not big enough, Steve, or deep enough, is it, for crystallised sulphide? All right, well, at least we checked. It looks like I'm getting close to the 07 Brew Crew now, though. We've got something over there. We are watching. S's base. All right, well, that's probably someone like the Crayola Kingdom, you know? They, 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 they do stuff like that. They're a bit weird. Uh, we've only just started, and we've already got snoopers inside of our region. Now, I'm not really that way inclined. I, I would like to head on over at some point to the Crayola Kingdom, or maybe the Empire, to have a look around, have a nose. But right now, I'm just more focused on my own thing. I'm not really focused on getting too into what's going on. Let's have a look what they've put up on here anyway. It's probably a giant crayon or something. With Crayola written on it, you know. Marking territory that isn't theirs. Being git bags. Yeah, I think it's a giant crayon. Oh, I saw Cynical do a video on this. Yeah, it's a giant crayon, apparently. With Crayola written on it. Yeah, there's a load of lights around the other side that say Crayola. 
Oh, well, that means I'm nearly home. Okay. I did move my base, though. Um, where is it? Where's my blinking base? It's somewhere near here. I don't want to go too far. I don't know why I'm not seeing my... Oh, there we go. My base is over this way. And we've got some other base built right here, which is pretty darn nice. Lovely. Cool. Ah, well, someone's built a nice little shed up here. This is looking good. There's more than a shed, in fact. Oh, is this the cafe? I think it might be the cafe. I wonder if there's some crystallised sulphide in these lakes right by my base. Let's have a little butchers, shall we? Can't hurt, can it? Wee! I don't know whether I hurt myself falling into water. Crystallite sulphide, is there any? Oh, there's a clam over there. Armoured clam. Subterranean relic. I don't think we're going to get lucky in these little ponds. But at least we're back at my base now. Now that I'm back in the confines and safety of my own base... I can then put it back into like normal mode, which means I'm going to get a lot more when I'm harvesting stuff. And I can then go into network and I can turn my PvP off. So at least I can relax a little bit now. Okay, cool. So let's have a look, see if we can find that crystallized sulfide. Was I just in this bit of pond? I think I was, yes. Let's try this bit of pond. Now, if there was crystallized sulfide in here, you would know it because it makes this rumbling noise and there's big jets. Normally, you find it in the deeper oceans of the planet. And I don't know how far I've got to go to get to the deeper oceans of the planet. There is another little lake over here. Come on, let's get lucky. Crystallized sulfide, are you in this lake? I think this is the last pond to test. I mean, it pond, lake... Hmm, there is, there is some entities, weird like organic entities in this one. It signifies it might be a little bit deeper. It is a little bit deeper. Oh, come on, be crystallized sulfide, you know you want to be. Oh, we've got some more underwater fauna, might be able to scan them. Uh, we've got a clam there. There's a couple of clams, but that's not going to give us what we want. Uh, hold on, is it cytose phosphate that I want, or is it... I'm not sure. Let's scan these. Let me just have a quick look-see. What is it that I need? Oh, I've made one of those. But I want to actually make myself the life support, which is this one here. Crystallite sulfide. Yeah, it is the rocks that I need. Off of those weird things. And yeah, as you can see, there's none inside of the water. There's none here. Dang it. I'm going to have to find a deeper body of water at some stage. I'll scan that as well. Oh, well. We'll head back to my base, I think. And I, I think we might have to call this a day for exploring. Where is my base? Bam, bam, bam. There it is. Right there. Ah, I could collect, check the Galactic Trade Terminal up at that um, Colossal Archive and see if they sell it, but I doubt they will. So yes, Mike the Manchild has claimed this as a base. Nice one, Mike the Manchild. Let's hit this up anyway. Let's have a look what they actually sell in here. Oh, they sell Cobalt. That's handy. Aronium, Starship Launch Thruster, Fuel Microprocessor. They sell chlorine. Hmm, I don't sell what I'm after. That's a bit of a shame. Okay. Cool. Well, there are actual visitors that land here as well. And travellers that can emerge that sell things. Let's see if they've got anything worth having. Yeah, we open land. Okay, it's around here. Hello, mate. You got anything I can buy from you? Um, no, I haven't got anything either. I might just have a look to see if, uh, just with a couple more, if I come across the, the, the phosphate, I'll let you know. Oh, 
look, we've come across Mikey the Manchild. Hello there, Mikey the Manchild. Um, how are you? So, let's just say hello to him. Well, how do there, Mikey? I don't know whether you can hear me or not. Oh, there you go. He's just, hello there, mate. How are you? I, I can hear... Well, I did hear you for a second. There you go. Hi. Now I can hear you. How are you? Hi. Yeah. Cool, cool. So, are you enjoying season two? Yeah. A nice one, claiming this freaking archive. Very nicely done, Mikey. Yeah. Yeah, I got that idea when I saw your video. Cool. Lovely. Nice one, sir. Thought I'd pop by and just say hello. I was checking the the, uh, the trade terminal to see if they sold any cytophosphate. Yeah, you know the stuff you get from the underwater things, the vents. I need some of that stuff, yeah. but I need to find a big body of water. Um, there's water around here, but just nothing deep enough to have the cytophosphate in. You haven't got no cytophosphate on you, have you? Uh, what do you need it for? Um, I want to make uh, life support. Um, not not life support. You know, um, well, the life support module. You can get the upgrade for it. So it's oxygen rerouter, emergency life support system. I've got my quantum computer. I got my chromatic metal. Just need the crystal sulfide. That's it, crystal sulfide. Uh, or is there another one in here? Oh, there's this one actually. Oh, I need oxygen to install that one. I get that one installed. There we are. It's just when you're travelling on. Oh, fucking heck! You you have got some. Yeah, I realise it. Oh, freaking awesome! Thank you. Okay, well we we'll get that installed. Oh, dang it! I need six of them. All right, no worries. Um, I'll have to go do a little bit of diving for the other three. But thank you very much. That that's awesome of you, sir. Got it. Oh, well, there you go. Mikey the Manchild. Diver extraordinaire. Thank you, mate. Yeah. Thanks for coming up with this advanced really cool board well, to light my fire. Cheers. Have I got anything I can give you? Uh, is there anything you need? Uh, I guess maybe a pet around. Get around faster. Um, I haven't got any eggs yet. My creature can't lay an egg. Uh, let me see if I can give you... Uh, I can give you some of my life support systems. Here we go. I'll give you that. Give you some of that. I've not got anything else that's really that interesting. Oh, I can give you these to up your rating with the Corvax that are around here. There you go. You can have them. And give those out to the Corvax here and hopefully raise your rating. I don't know whether they'll give you anything for doing that. I've got some planetary charts. They're alien ones, but... Nah, I need some manufacturing facilities because I want to get an Atlas Pass Level 1 blueprint. But you can only get that from going into the manufacturing facilities. Because if you can get if you can get Atlas Pass Level 1s and craft those, we can open the red barrels to get the uh, you know the navigational data. So that's pretty darn yeah. sweet. Right, bud. Well, I'll leave you to it. Nice chatting. And uh, see you around, I guess. And thank you for that those those sulfide things. Very nice of you. Good yeah. See you later, bud. And when I have got eggs, I'll be sure to give you one if I see you one online. Okay? I don't know how many days that'll be. Oh, where's my base gone? Base, base, where are you, base? Oh, there it is, down there. Hold on, there's another body of water just down... Oh, I did see another body of water. Anyway, uh, I'll reconvene if anything interesting happens, people. Okay, well, I just adopted one of these little butterflies, and we'll see how quickly this flies. There we go. Meow. Oh, actually, I think that might be slightly quicker than the beetle. I mean, look at that. The gliding on this is pretty darn freaking epic. And there's a lake just down here. Now, I'm hoping Mikey the Manchild got them in this lake down here. That would make sense, wouldn't it? We'll have a look, see if there's any down here, because he only had three. So if there is one down here, it might have three on it. But we can farm it by doing reloading back at my base and then coming back here. It's not far from my base. Let's just hope that this body of water is where we can find that sulphide. Here we go. But we're halfway there, people. This must be where he got it from. Yeah, there's two. There's two in here. Brilliant, eh? Okay, so let's head on over here. There's two, and this is right near our base. So this is cool. All right, so here we go. Let's grab this. So this isn't far from the um, 
Oh, I've got to get away from it, or it's going to blast me. Oh, okay, maybe it's not. Right, interesting. Grab that one. Whoa! Whoa, there's another one there. We need to get double blasted. Right, I'm going to get extra. There we are. Have that. Have that. There we go, people. I got six. Oh, look, there's another one there. There's a whole load of them. Oh, excellent. All right, well, there's my base there, people. Okay. Just five minutes. There's the big crayon over there. So that would help you triangulate where this is, I suppose. And the Colossal Archive wasn't far. It's over that way, the Colossal Archive. But there's Mikey the Manchild. Only 900 views. I saw it from where I was with him. But there's my base there. Heck yes. Well, that means I've now got enough to put in that last bit of tech right there. You see, if you've already got the base tech, you can install it. Or if you find it inside of this menu, inside of it, go ahead and go for it. But that doesn't apply to like the multi-tools. You've got to have like the base unit in there already before you can install it. So at the moment, the only things that I'm allowed to install are things to do with the laser or things to do with the, mult um, the bolt caster. Until I find some tech on the planet that gives me something else that's related. So say if I've it's like I could put that in if I wanted to, ricochet, because I've already got these modules in there. Or right now, if I wanted to, I could upgrade my scanner using that and put that in there because I've already got the base one of that. So you have to find the base tech first. And that's kind of the same with the exosuit too. It's like at the moment, I could do a load of movement modules if I liked. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and boost this as much as I can. Let's get that in there. What's that done? I, you can't see the stats when you over, hover, hover, hover over at 10%. Let's put that one on there then. Because now that's probably given me 12%. Okay, fine. A little bit. I can I stick the jetpack on there just to boost it for now. Might as well. Might know. Might as well leave that over there. But there we go. So episode one, I've upgraded my tanks slightly. Um, where's my butterfly creature? Where are you? Butterfly? Come to moi. Oh, there he is. He's right there. He's feeling a bit gloomy. Let's let's um let's make him a bit happier. Let's feed the dang thing as well. And ride. And hopefully I'll have eggs for this. Not that you need eggs for this, because they're all over the bloody planet. But my beetle, I hopefully I'll get some eggs for that soon. Now I can come here on my PC save. I could bring over some birds that fly a little bit quicker than these. So I can get across the landscape a bit quicker. But I honestly don't see the point. Because our bases are a lot closer together now. And I, I'm, it's not like I'm going to go and attack other players for a while. Heck no. I need to get some extra bolt caster modules. I need to uncover more technology. And get the base technology in right now. That's going to take me a while. This creature's not very good at getting me over mountains. But we're nearly back at base. Oh, would you look at that? Right by my base as well. Look, there's a load of sack venom sitting right there. At least I think it's sack venom. Is that sack venom? Let's go and have a look. It is sack venom. I don't want to touch it because I get poisoned and die. But that's pretty cool. There's a load of sack venom there. Last episode, we actually had a mission to collect sack venom. We haven't got any sort of hand-in missions this time around. The missions that we're going to be doing, rather than have hand-ins... We might have, like, a photograph and give coordinates, X and Y coordinates, and then pop them on Discord, that sort of stuff. Because last time we'd done the hand-ins, I've got to be online for you to hand it in to me, or your faction leader has to be online. And it just, we were just sitting around doing nothing, rather than actually um, contributing. I didn't find it much fun just waiting for people to hand stuff in to me. I mean, yes, I had some lovely little chats with them, like we did with Mikey the Manchild earlier. But yeah, hopefully I'll just do that as and when I see my uh, crew online. Hopefully, try to talk to one member of my crew each episode I do. Just so you get to hear them, see them, interact with them like I do. Right, here we go, let's head on over here. I'll pick this up on the way down as well. Im impulse beans. We'll see what we can make inside of our nutrient processor as well, people. Yeah.
Hopefully we can make ourselves something interesting using the impulse beans. Might be able to make ourselves some stew. Okay, well we're inside a base. And I've managed to get this installed this episode, people. We've got a bit of extra extended life support. Very nice. I head over here. Nutrient processor. Boom. Right, what can I make? Let's try putting in pulpy roots. Well, that can make root juice, but let's just mix it with impulse beans. Fibrous stew. All right, let's make some fibrous stew. Um, I'm hoping fibrous stew gives me back energy or something like that. That'd be quite handy. Highly valuable. It doesn't say what it gives you if you consume it at this stage, but we'll make a little. There we are. Fibrous stew. We'll take the impulse beans as well. And let's see what that actually gives us if we was to eat it. Uh, fibrous stew. Sprint overload. It just makes you a little bit faster on the old movement. Okay. Let's put in the impulse beans. Bittersweet cocoa. Let's see what that gives us if we was to eat the bittersweet cocoa. Bam, bam, bam. Where are you, bittersweet cocoa? I don't know where that blinking went. Holy fudge, have I gone blind? I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Ah, there we go. Life support power, 20%. So we need to just get a load of impulse beans and make that. That would be cool. Lovely. I wonder what that turns into, though. I'll have to look up some recipes of stuff that I might be able to make on this planet. Yeah, I can't mix. I don't think I can mix that with a fibrous stew. No. All right. All right, fine. Hopefully we come up with some nice recipes to actually make. Because that might help my crew a little. Next episode, I definitely want to try and get my Atlas past level one. We need to find some manufacturing facilities. So, you know what? I might just use the navigational data I've got. I've got five navigational datas now, haven't I? Yeah, I've got five of them. So, if I take those up to the actual... I should be able to get a manufacturing facility next episode, people. And we'll go looking for our Atlas Pass Level 1 blueprint. And hopefully, I might be able to craft them and give them out to all my crew. Heck, yeah. Anyway, people, salute to Mondo. And, um, yeah, reconvene next time. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.